I can say it till I'm blue in the face. I was just trying to comfort her. We'd like you to take over as clinical matron. I don't think I'm ready for this. I'm here to support you, Chrissy. Look, shall I take him? Who's in that? Oh, Joy Marshall. She's been referred to Mr. Beecham from Shoreham Cross. In private hospital. What's her diagnosis? Long-standing heart problems, developed palpitations. Admitted for investigation with 24-hour tape. That's why I'm looking after her. Well, you know the protocol. Any hospital transfers are swapped for MRSA and kept isolated until the results are back. Yeah, we should get Joyce back today. No one gets through, I understand. We need to keep a lid on this. Uh, Mrs Beecham, there's some medical students here for you. Apparently you're meant to be teaching them today. I'm supposed to be at an infection control meeting. OK, thank you. Right. I'm Mrs Beecham, consultant cardiothoracic surgeon. I'm going to teach you a vital medical procedure. Something that will save more lives than anything else in your career. Hand washing. Good morning, clinical matron. Good morning, Mr. Beecham. Pleasant weekend. Mm, Mr. Grable. Spent it in excellent company. Right. I've got a press conference to do downstairs, so I'll keep this brief. The reason that I've called all the heads of department here is as a result of our recent difficulties with MRSA, the Healthcare Commission are visiting today to inspect our infection control procedures. Have you kept that quiet? Well, we've only just found out ourselves. Sorry I'm late. Well, ITU's covered. All patients and staff have been screened and we're rigorously enforcing infection control protocol and undertaking daily review meetings. The main reason for the inspection is that we've had complaints from patients who uh, have seen staff failing to wash their hands. Well, you'll be pleased to know I have the answer. Tottles. Sorry? Tottles. They're an alcohol-based disinfectant, just as effective as washing your hands to prevent cross-infection. We've had alcohol gel available for ages. Yeah, well, with this system, everybody will have one with them. It only takes a second to decontaminate your hands. So, matron, there's no excuse now. Right, Mrs. Beecham, I don't know if you remember, but the patient who actually died from MRSA was my grandfather. Now, the most likely carriers are those admitted from other hospitals. So any patient transferred must be isolated until swabs are taken. No exception. Married. So how was the conference? How oh, thrilling. A weekend of capital allocations and cost improvement mm, programs. Thank you. I'd much rather have stayed at home with my wife, but duty calls. You were coming to the next MRSA meeting? No, I've got a patient to see. Your new admissions on the isolation ward. Sorry? Transfer from Sean Cross. I'll pop in. Once we know she's clear of MRSA, she can come on the main ward. Yeah, of course. Matron, these need to be issued to all staff, please. OK. I'd like total compliance with the cross-infection policy. Mrs Beecham, everyone is taking this very seriously. Good. Is your head on the block? Trisha, what have you got? Yes, Marion Don here for atrial fibrillation for cardioversion. My daughter Fiona was the one who had the heart and lung transplant. Oh, uh, of course. Could you get my stethoscope? Yeah. Fiona, how are you doing? Hi, hi. It's good to see you. You should come more often. Good for morale. OK, Marion. Do you know why you're here today? Well, you're going to knock her out and then give her an electric shock to stop her heart beating too fast. If she carries on talking like that, I'll be out of a job. Are you still taking the warfarin? Yes. I don't know why, though. Well, they're anticoagulants. They to stop you getting a blood clot in the heart and they give you the treatment. How long have you been noticing the irregular heartbeats? A couple of months. OK. What are you looking at? Would you just turn around for me, please? Have you noticed any swelling in your neck? No. Swallow for me. No. Notice any other symptoms? Weight loss or feeling the heat? Um, well, I've lost a couple of pounds. Well, she's always opening windows. I'm still here, you know. Marion, I'm afraid we can't carry out the treatment today. Why not? It looks like you have an enlarged thyroid gland. It's overactive. Well, what does that mean? Well, the gland is producing too much of the thyroid hormone. That's what's most likely causing the irregular heartbeats and most of the other symptoms. Trying to slow your heart down today just wouldn't work. I see your doctor's got the diagnosis wrong, then. Look, why don't I ask another of my colleagues to come and see you and then we can work out a treatment plan, OK? In the meantime, I'd like some bloods and a scan, please. Thank you. Can I go home after that? I was only supposed to be here as a day case. I'm afraid it may be a bit longer than that. OK, thank you. Thank you. 
You knew I didn't want to come here, and now they're making me stay. You can't... Oh, in a hurry? Um, no, it's just fitting in a quick wardrobe. Right, well, I've got a proposal for the anti-MRSA measures. Providing staff your laundry. No, oh, don't we do that already? Oh, no, apparently not. So we have nurses doing their own laundry, going to and from work in uniform. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, would you like to read it? Yeah. Whatever you do, don't play poker. <laughs> it's okay, Marion. Nice deep breaths for me. Let's get you on the bed. Like. Nice deep breaths for me. Okay? Is airway obstruction? Because <laughs> we have a look. Uh, the retro external thyroid must have bled in Professor Drakea. Right? She yeah. shouldn't be lying down. Well, let's get her up. She'll be more easily sitting up. We need to get her into theatre to control this. Well, Matron. Can I have a word? Just, you went from one patient to the other without washing your hands. But that's because it's no, a second. That's all it takes. There's no excuse. Right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Quick, quick. No! Quick, please. Something for MRSA. It's all right, Connie. Rick washed his hair in alcohol gel this morning. Zubin would have done the same if he had any. <laughs> I just feel a little guilty about dropping Mrs. Dunn in your lap. Wondered if you might like a hand. Well, the SHOs are busy. I suppose you'll have to do. Get a move on then. Anyway, gives me a chance to see if theatre is keeping up to scratch with hygiene. Is the airway precious? Something wrong with the tube? No, the trachea is compressing below the end of the tube. Uh, cylinder of Heliox, please. Oh, Rick, you better get that gland out in the next two minutes or she's going to suffocate. Or we could go and bypass. Aren't you just glad I came? Knife, no, please. Quick as you can, Connie. I'd like to see a little bit of teamwork. Give me another bag of Hartman's, please, and uh, check for hemoglobin. Hey, hey, you. We'll have to wait. Zubin. Mm. Where's Jess? Uh, she's at home. It's very important that we find her. I told you she's... What's going on? Jess brought Paris in. Now she's disappeared. Is he all right? We just need to find her. Water, that's all. <sighs> Fiona! Oh, it's not. not. How have you been feeling like this? <sighs> not long, it'll pass. Right, I'm going to get you checked over. <coughs> I mean, what's the problem? She had a very high temperature. Fiona, love, what is it? OK, Fiona, we're going to have to keep you in, all right? Don't worry, Marion, we'll take good care of her. Patients like this are very susceptible to infection. I want her in HTU and I want a chest x No, Michael's patient's in HTU, he insisted. Move her. Fiona's my priority. I'll deal with Mr. Beecham. Is I hurry? No, I've just come to check up and join Marshall. Oh, she's in Bay 2. But she's supposed to be in a sideboard. Connie moved her. What do you mean? I gave explicit instructions. Then you'd have to talk to your wife about that. Listen. I was wondering whether we could turn lunch into dinner. Not now. Please. Yes, now. Look, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I need to know where I stand. Is there a problem? No, 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 of course not. It's fine. I'm just a bit busy, that's all. This, this replacement valve holds. The other one was quite infected. Are you, um... Is he going to Darwin, post-op? Uh, no, ITU. Good, uh, I think that's better. Right, prepare to take him off bypass. Off. You did a great job, Connie, I'm proud of you. We're a good team, you and I. Always were. I shouldn't forget that. <laughs> 